Let me ask you a question. Could you use your imagination and the power of your creative brain to create a Mars Lego rover you could play with? Well, we met a guy who did. Being an engineer and working on the actual Curiosity rover was extremely useful when coming up with a Lego model. In fact, it's the main reason I created the Lego model in the first place. On the Curiosity rover, I was you know, a new engineer fresh out of school, so uh, I basically started with you know, smaller design tasks to sort of uh, learn the ropes and get the hang of how things are done. Basically, I start out with uh, making a bunch of design sketches and, uh, and uh, figuring out if it will fit in there and how it should be made. You know, once that's all done, you take it and you test it and you measure all its properties and everything and uh, then you hand it off to someone who then uh, puts it onto the rover. When I started working on my LEGO Curiosity rover, I, I basically had the majority of the main model finished during one long three-day weekend. That started out by using a bunch of, you know, reference photos from the actual Curiosity rover. It also involved a uh, drawing sketches on graph paper to see if uh, pieces would fit the way I want them to without having to, you know, build it up a bunch of times and tear it down over and over again. But uh, overall, it was a similar experience. I guess I didn't have a, a lot of other people inspecting my work and making sure everything was right. It was all, you know, just me in my own uh, little Lego room working on the model. Within a few months, it was pretty much done. I, I took photos of it and put them online so other people could see my model. The rover itself is like some awesome sci-fi vehicle if you, if you uh, describe it to someone. Curiosity Rover, boldly going where no rover has gone before. With its six-wheel drive, rocker bogey suspension system, and mast-mounted cameras complete with a rocket pack. Curiosity, seriously curious. It sounds like the coolest, uh, you know, space vehicle ever. Except it's uh, it's not science fiction. It's real, and it's on Mars right now. It was like a a, a kid's dream to be, you know, an official Lego designer. Because I imagine lots of kids who have Lego collections thought oh, it'd be cool if I was a Lego designer and I could do this all day. Basically, I learned that there's nothing that can't be built out of Lego, and so I, there's always something new and interesting to, to do. Thanks, Stephen. Steven is an engineer who used the design process. He identified a problem. Too few kids were interested in the Mars rover. So then he brainstormed. Hmm, hmm, what if I create a Mars Lego rover that kids can play with and learn all at the same time? And then he designed it, then he built it, Maybe he had to redesign it, then he tested it and evaluated it, and then he shared it with the folks at Lego. And voila! We'd love to see what you can build, create, make, or invent. Send your pictures or videos to Janet at JanetsPlanet.com and you just might be Janet's Planet Inventor of the Week. Let your mind revolve around this thought. Whatever you can think, create, or imagine today just might be great science tomorrow. And that's The View from Janet's Planet.